you remember what we class as a fairly high benchmark of 1990s Mila, the Mila Deluxe S228i. Yes, the machine that has been refurbished does still look quite nice, however, if you remember, I broke it. Yes, I did a thing, well, it was already broken, I made it worse and completely destroyed it, and we did a called real delete, however. Never fear, because inside of this box is hopefully going to be all we need to fix this machine and get it working as well as its sorry little basic thing was when it was new. Let's have a look at what's inside the box to get us out of trouble. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and vintage mirror chums. How are you today? Yes, we broke a mirror called Rewind, as you have seen. Where's the edge of this carpet? And it's a bit of pain in the bum, really. I, you know, there's not a lot you can do about it, but it certainly does ruin the machine a little bit. By fortuitous fortune on Facebook for the it was free, Near Mr. James was just the thing we needed and some more besides. So we're going to unbox everything that's in here and I'll tell you what is what. We have a few things, we don't have everything. We have a telescopic wand. We have actually something for the Vorwerk Cobalt. Mr. James had lent me some tools ready for an after video featuring it, so we'll put those to the side. Oh, oh, oh. We, oh, oh. we have the floor tool from the machine in question. It actually works really, really well. I've not had a floor tool quite this old before. Oh, that's falling apart. Hey, that works quite well. Indeed, that's it for this box. I think that's actually it for it all. I think everything else is just packaging and we find ourselves in the possession of a very very tatty Mila Automatic S240i. Yes! What complete random chance that was. I think that is that. This is the machine before this one and uh, you can see the family resemblance just as if I had the green one sat here you would see it too. Yes, they are the same, just one is newer than the other. So, we'll put this to one side for a second, because ultimately we're about to rip this apart to put a thing into there and basically break this for spares, which is possibly not too much of a shame. Let me come a bit closer and we'll have a look at the machine itself. Yeah, this was free on Facebook. Mr. James has the hose. He had an immediate need for that. I certainly wanted to borrow this floor head just to see how much different it was to the generation that this comes with. And the ones, because I have a slight use for those. But yeah, this poor thing is... Well, the cable... Oh, good, it does go all the way in. OK. I suppose in the box it will be slightly out and that's what will cause it to get smashed in so hence why it was probably out so yeah that's what we need to get out of here in one piece i'll show you where it broke on that one when we get to it but yeah the wheels are held on with random bolts on both sides bless it this thing has seen some use there are some wow there are some small tools that they are again very very worn Indeed, well, that one's got a brush strip in it, which is quite cool indeed. I don't, I don't quite know why I'm taking them out, actually. We may as well leave them as they are. You go in there. I believe under here we have, well, we do have a bag oh, and the hose top as well with a bit of hose left in it. How lovely is that? And yeah, we can see the family resemblance right down to the fat hole. 
we need one of those. Oh, we'll have that out. I'll pop that in my pocket for safekeeping. Yeah, win. Okay, well, that's, that, that's two things that we have from this machine. Here is, although you can't see it too well, the eh, speed control adjustment. There's the automatic setting. And there is everything else. Best we see if it works. Well, I think it does work. Probably more how well it works. Oh, get some power over here. Ah, doesn't work at all. Well, okay, doesn't actually do a dang thing, which could be running, could not be. I sort of wanted to hear it go because, you know, we could have a spare motor here, but we obviously don't. So I think the best thing to do next is to take it all apart and see if we can extract a diesel cord rewind from this machine. And yeah, look, you can see I had those outlets, nice, decent nuts and bolts on the machine and the combo as well. Biggest problem is, well, this one's broken as well. This is the problem. Probably not be able to see too much with the motor there. In fact, let's take the motor out because we don't need it anyway. But yes, this one is broken as well, folks. And I do have a feeling that this is probably a common occurrence on these machines. Oh my goodness, out you come. Just out, out. There we go, nice motor there. Despite it not running, that's oh, yeah, a bit grubby. There you can see a big old score line down the con there. Oh, who knows? Not perhaps terribly fantastic, but yeah, this pin here is what breaks. This is what keeps the entire thing together. And it's all loose and wobbly here. I don't want to poke it too much, but that is broken. That's what I found laying on the floor. And then that had separated a little bit. So, but it works fine. I mean, it's such a pain, really, because it's okay in terms of it works. So I think we have one shot at this. One shot to take this out in one movement and place it back into the other. So, let's get the red machine ready to receive. And I can take apart my bodge for want of a better word. So there is the screw that we need to put that back in place. And then, oh gosh, we've got cable ties to cut because I use cable ties in order to help ah, help do the cable on there. We'll also get the motor out. Oh gosh, we have... I think if we do it in one smooth motion, we'll be all right. It lasted me taking it out before. We will move the motor out of the way because we've got to get access... To that pin oh and we'll do the moving okay this is it oh if this all springs apart it's on camera so I'll hold that together oh oh come on pod yeah. We've lost this plastic post, which needs to go. Oh, track the wire through. Oh, I just need. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's all it's all falling apart. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna have to take a loop of this flex off because I have no other choice. Oh no no no! I have to get. 
wish I'd known this before I picked it up. I hate called rewinds. Right, you go in there. Oh, I'm not sure. Can you go in there? Yes. Can you just drop down into place? Oh, a bit of plastic's come off. It's all coming off. Oh my gosh. Don't think it's going to work, folks. That is in, but uh, yeah, this has all fallen completely apart. But if we can wedge, see that has to wedge in there. We're going to do this screw up. Let's get off the camera. This all explodes. I want it caught. Right, that in there. We have. Live to the switch on this basic model. None of this look options. No, no, no. We want basic nothing. Neutral to neutral. Oh, I don't trust this cord rewind. So we now know twice this has happened. This era of Mila is a sod. Please be careful. Is I think the idea. Oh gosh, yes, you go upside down, don't you? There we go. That all lines up. I'm scared to touch that bit. We might have done it though. Ah. Oh no, my magnets are dying in my bits. Whatever. This doesn't really hold the motor on too much. They're pointless screws. However, I dare not move it until this bit's on because if it all goes exploding, it could all go exploding inside of itself just put a couple of screws in where are all the screws gone what did we do with that Here, here's some that'll do all we need is some isn't it they're all the same it's the same basic machine three no don't throw them oh cord reel wasn't at fault when that last one didn't turn on. That'd suck, wouldn't it? Right, the big question is, have we knackered it? Oh, can you hear it? Making funny noises. Well, despite it not coming apart, we have sort of fixed it. I now have a beautiful spare piece of flex, nice, thick, decent flex. So that's a bit of a win. I'm just going to go wash my hands and We'll tidy up the loose, dirty stuff. We'll probably keep this motor because it's had a lot of use, but it probably runs okay. I imagine there's possibly something else involved. In fact, we'd better turn it on we, before we get too complacent. Ooh. Um, do we have a fuse? Oh my goodness. Does the fuse work? Okay, this is it. Oh, if this all springs apart, it's on camera. Gotta hold that together. Oh, oh, come on, Todd. Yeah. Right, uh, there, blah, 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 blah. We've lost this plastic post, which needs to go. Oh, track the wire through. Oh, I just need, yeah, there we go. Look, it's all, it's all falling apart. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to take a loop of this flex off because I have no other choice. Oh, no, no, no. I have to get... Oh, I wish I'd known this before I picked it up. I hate cord rewinds. Right, you go in there. Oh, I'm not sure... Can you go in there? Yes. Can you just drop down into place? Oh, see the bit of plastic's come off. It's all coming off. Oh my gosh. Don't think it's going to work, folks. That is in, but uh, yeah, this has all fallen 
completely apart but if we can wedge see that has to wedge in there we're going to do this screw up let's get off the camera this all explodes i want it full right that in there we have live to the switch on this basic model none of this the options no 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 we want basic nothing neutral to neutral oh i don't trust this cord rewind so we now know twice this has happened this era of mila is a sod please be careful is i think the idea oh gosh yes you go upside down don't you there we go that all lines up i'm scared to touch that bit i think we might have done it though oh no my magnets are dying in me bits whatever this doesn't really hold the motor on too much they're pointless screws. however i dare not move it until this bit's on because if it all goes exploding it could all go exploding inside of itself just put a couple of screws in where are the screws got? what did we do with that Here, here's some that'll do all we need is some isn't it they're all the same it's the same basic machine three no don't throw them oh Hope the cord reel wasn't at fault when that last one didn't turn on. That'd suck, wouldn't it? Right, the big question is, have we knackered it? Oh, can you hear it? Making funny noises. Well, despite it not coming apart, we have sort of fixed it. I now have a beautiful spare piece of flex, nice thick piece of flex. So that's a bit of a win. I'm just going to go wash my hands and we'll tidy up the loose, dirty stuff. We'll probably keep this motor because it's had a lot of use, but it probably runs okay. Imagine there's possibly something else involved. In fact, we better turn it on we? before we get too complacent. Ooh. Um, do we have a fuse? Oh my goodness. Does the fuse work? Uh oh! It does! Oh, look, look at how loose all that is. Why do I have a horrible, horrible feeling that we've got to. I, mean, I can't even re. I can't, oh, I can't even put the cable onto the other cord reel because it'll fall apart and that'll be that. Yeah. See, that all looks okay. I mean, the only way I'm really going to know uh, is to open the thing back up again and check the flex properly. Some time later, and we appear to still have a working cord reel on our meter. The slight problem is that I had to chop the nice moulded plug off to fit it. And all I really have that's black is this plug. And hopefully now we shall turn it on. Aha! Fantastic. So that other Mila was killed by the wires being broken in the plug. Fantastic. So we can take the toolkit, which I have here, plug it in once again, oh, and check it does some vacuuming. Oh, yeah. Very nice indeed. We can do away with these admittedly very tall ones now because, yes, I have a nice telescopic one to play with. It isn't for this machine, I just got it because why not? They're quite nice. They're 35 millimeters, they are utterly, utterly used. And then, yes, this is, you know, this is the other floor head. You can see the family resemblance. I mean, they stuck with this style for a while. Even after this, wonder if this one 
Feel as any. Oof. Eh. There we go. Feel as any different to the new one to use. Oh, eh. Nice, really. Very nice floral tool and I shall look forward to keeping that one around certainly until Mr James needs it back for something else I'm sure but this machine needs to stick with its own toolkit we shall unplug it and for the first time this after video do up oh, I want to smash it do up the plug it fits in there just as well as the old one did so that's fine and yes, we finally, with no tied up flex, like there was before, have the Mina S228i apart and fixed once more. And here endeth the cautionary tale of these machines. If you have a cord rewind and it works, be incredibly sure it is not broken before you remove it from your vintage Mina. So there we go, little quick short one today. Finishing off some loose ends and yeah, it does feel nice to get this one done finally. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and probably some other poor luckless Mila will see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>